Welcome to Keybit's second photo world. This time I have a little small device, which you may guess already here on the sticker top, which is a quite new RG28XX. This is a little quite small gaming device, which I got here on my uh, trip in China, which comes here in this padded casing. It's directly here from China, which you may guess already here on the Chinese label on the package. And it comes directly here, packed uh, even with the small carrying cases, as, uh, as you can see. So the case, for, I'm, I'm sorry for how it was down. The case comes, as you can see, it comes packed here with the case and the device itself. So the device, as you can see, it's uh, with the quality checking sticker and a small padded case. So here is the device. And yeah, on the right side you got the power button. And the top you have a status LED, so when you press the power button correctly, firmly, on, uh, then it should start up. There it comes, there is the Ambernick logo. Here on the bottom we have an, the instructions, so here's everything. And let's have a short look on the instructions. The, the main part is the uh, most interesting is maybe the in the uh, retro arc you have a lot of um, shortcuts, which is interesting. Here's all all the um, buttons. You have the yeah power button, which I already pressed. The reset button, uh, uh, also interesting, which is not available on many phones nowadays. Even you have a headphone uh, um, port. You have two SD card slots. This is quite interesting. So you can, it comes already preloaded with one SD card. You have uh, yeah even an HD and HDMI port, so you can even uh, even put in in uh, in uh, the little HD. 720p a resolution um, the, and plug it into your TV. We have um, yeah yeah even um, yeah the two uh, shoulder buttons. Sadly, you don't have an um, uh, analog stick, but otherwise you have quite a good uh, assortment of buttons. Uh, yeah, and otherwise yeah everything you need for playing old old retro games, which are uh, yeah quite good available on this. The system yeah for setting it up here I already uh, set them up mine in English so yeah you, you can here choose for many languages this yeah from Chinese to um, all kind of languages French whatever you like is available here in the language settings menus then you can for example uh, test all the buttons here you have a uh, yeah, different cardinal axis and all the different buttons and uh, also maybe interesting is you can even um, uh, have a little rumble motor here inside so if you uh, press the menu button and the menu if you may hear the the menu you even have a little um, rumble motor inside this which may work in some of the emulators for the rumble effect this is quite interesting and yeah you here can set up um, uh, or checks for example also the um, firmware version you can turn on or off the button sound to your liking and yeah do uh, some uh, icon setups or whatever you prefer to yeah yeah here you have some uh, for example also interesting is you have an app center here you have a little music player so you can also use it as a little mp3 player video player if you like here is for example preloaded for testing a little um, and the little advertisement movie for this one, so you can here have here the um, yeah, some you can put in here some uh, little movies if you like to watch on the go. If, for example, your phone batteries are, are drained, the battery runtime is quite good on this one. It, this one has a, a quite beefy, uh, so nearly the whole backside consists of battery. This one has a 3100 milliampere battery, so it's quite uh, good. To, um, uh, runtime so you can have like up to eight to nine hours of runtime of course depending on how much load you put on your um, on your system and yeah so you are quite um, 
you are quite uh, well served here for running a lot of games until you are happy or the battery is finished. And also maybe interesting, you have a little file manager for internal uh, sortings. Yeah, and otherwise, of course, the most interesting part is you have a, a lot of games. Of course, uh, as I have the Chinese versions, it's a bit unlucky. Um, here's everything uh, named in, in Chinese. For testing, I already put uh, in quite some um, English ones. For example, uh, there, this uh, comes without um, uh, Nintendo 64. And I was looking quite forward to uh, check the N64 performance. And now I did um, here some um, uh, put on some uh, Nintendo 64 ROMs. So, for example, here you cannot um, test uh, the N64 performance with me together. So, for example, here is the good old Super Mario N N N64. And, yeah, as you can see, this even runs quite fluid. I put on the um, uh, uh, frames per second, the frame time on the uh, bottom uh, right. This is a specialty of because the um, screen is in the horizontal uh, uh, factor, uh, it, but it's um, um, yeah built in vertical. You, so you have to see it. It's, it's more run, running like this, and yeah. So it's uh, only turned um, horizontal software-wise. So yeah, internally it's yeah runs this way. This is a maybe a little specialty, uh, which also make it maybe a bit harder for custom runs, and which has yeah some side effects on. And this thing and also yeah some system message so for example if you load like um, 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 some save states also this message may then appear here on uh, on the left side instead may as you may appear on on the bottom or top this is uh, maybe also a bit uh, yeah strange yeah and yeah as you may see whoops I think I pressed the slowdown accidentally here you can just now play it here nicely um, on the in, in quite real time yeah it's maybe a bit uh, uh, not so nice as you have no um, analog buttons but yeah it's this and some other n64 games may also run quite nicely without um, yeah analog sticks so yeah the performance is quite nice here in n64 this depends of course on the game some other more challenging games like golden eye maybe uh, not so uh, good but yeah, the other simpler, uh, easier uh, start, uh, starting launch games from the N64 and some other ones which are not so challenging on the hardware are quite nice. Yo. So yeah, that's my first impressions. I hope you like it. If you have any questions or other regards, just put them in the comments below. And yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye bye. You keep it.